a Seabad production. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the next episode of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot here on the channel. My name is Seabad and we're here on Seabad at Gaming. We are Majin Vegeta getting ready to go take on Majin Buu himself. If you guys missed the last episode, definitely go check it out. If you guys are new, feel free to subscribe for more. And of course, uh, if you guys enjoy, leave a like. It helps out the channel immensely. Uh, it doesn't just show me that you like it, but it also shows you two that you guys like it. And it's going to push out some other people who want to come over here and hang out and just have a good time with us. So we're going to go on ahead and take on Majin Buu now. If I can descend. Perfect. There we go. Gohan's energy is gone. That's right. Gohan got clapped in the last episode. I might as well destroy it while I can. Okay, well, we just destroyed Bobby's spaceship, so that's good. Man Ray! What in the world is going on? Hey there! Vegeta, what have you done? I don't recall telling you to destroy my ship. I don't recall you telling me to do anything. So that fat bastard with the ugly mug is Majin Buu, huh? Ooh, tell him! You killed Gohan, didn't you? <gasps> Gohan. Ugly mug? What's that? It's your face. It means he thinks you have a strange face. Uh. Now, Boo angry! I'm not you... going to hell on my own. <laughs> I'm taking you all with me. Get him, Vegeta. <laughs> oh, I get to play as Majin Vegeta. Let's go. All right. Let's smack him around a little bit. Come here. Alright, I can't revert. I actually don't know if I can revert in this. Let's Big Bang attack. That's 83,000. Come here. Come here. Bring that ass here. 72,000 on the, on, the, on the edge of that. We can play that game. You want to you want to you want to zip around? That's fine by me. That's fine by me. Go on ahead and zip around, bud. What? Oh god. No 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 no. Come here. That's right. That's right. You want the smoke? You can't handle the smoke. Let's get mad on him. Let's get mad on him real quick. There we go. Bring it. We are launching pure Big Bang attacks right now. Okay, there we go. Megaton bomb hurt a little bit. No candy beam. No candy beam. No candy for me. Oh, that's right. What you gonna do? Oh my god. And then the Megaton bomb? No way. That's oh my god, that's so good. That's so good. Come here. Stop the combo. Come on. Yeah, come here. Come here. I wasted no items on you. Oh, except I might need to. No candy beam, no candy beam, no candy beam. No, I dodged! Come on! Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I need an item. Okay, I had to use an item. I know I talk a lot of shit, but I needed to bet. Oh, what you gonna do? Come here. Oh, that's right. You ain't got it! You ain't got nothing. Mm. Oh, sick. Hold it! Really? Finished off with a Gala gun. There we go. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. How was that only an A? What? Okay, whatever. At least I'll level up after kicking his butt. What's that? Just now. Majin Boo needs to be taken care of, but you're the real cause behind all this bobbity. Get him, Piccolo. Oh no. You go bye bye now. Let's 
Let's go, Trunks! Are you okay, Vegeta? Dad, hang in there! Trunks. Good care of your mom for me. W what are you talking about, Dad? What do you mean, take good care of mom? You need to get as far away from here as you can. I'm going to fight Majin Buu on my own. N no way! We're gonna fight too! The three of us can take him down for sure! Trunks, I haven't given you a single hug since the day you were born, have I? Huh? Doing, Dad, cut it out. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> Take care, Trunks. Huh? Ah! Uh. Why'd you? Why'd you do that? Why'd you hit Trunks? Take these two as far away from here as you can. I'm counting on Piccolo. You're prepared to die, aren't you? Just tell me one thing. If I die, will I be able to see Kakarot in the other world? I'm afraid not. You've killed too many innocent people. When you die, you'll lose your body, and your soul will be carried off to a different world. I see. That's too bad. Now, get out of here. Hurry! No! Boo, oh, no! Where'd you go? Wait! Majin Boo! You're going to have to defeat me first! You got that? Fight me, you brain dead balloon! Uh, you say mean things, even though you're weak! I finally know how to get rid of you. Once and for all. Hey! What in the world is Vegeta doing? He's gonna get himself killed! For the first time ever. He's finally fighting to protect someone other than himself. Throwing his life away to do it. To make sure you can't put yourself back together, I'm going to blow you into microscopic pieces! I knew it was coming and I'm still not emotionally okay with what just happened. Here, take these two. I'm going to see what happened. I knew it was coming. And I'm still not emotionally okay with what just happened. And there's
there's little pieces of Majin Buu everywhere. I see. So if Majin Buu only takes a small amount of damage, his cells can regenerate. To prevent that, Vegeta sacrificed himself to blow Majin Buu into a trillion pieces. We were saved by him, of all people. Babidi, you're still alive. Guess I'll have to fix that. Tell me, Majin Buu's fragments, they're... Mm-mm-mm. Majin mm. Buu is still alive. Yup. You're not in any position to threaten sealing him up. Oh, I thought he was turning him to candy. Good. Well done, I thought he was turning him into candy. I was like, no way. That green fool and those two runs have messed with me for the last time. Mm -mm. I can't I believe it. I can believe happened, but jeez. Like, I, I knew it was going to happen. I still wasn't ready. Reduce this planet to a desolate hellscape, Margin Boo. Kill as many of the Earthlings as it takes to flush those Cretans out of hiding. Krillin's mm. like, what do you mean he's still alive? He's not dead? Margin Boo's not dead? Way Vegeta sacrificed himself for nothing. It's not safe here on the surface. Get the kids and everyone else to Kami's lookout right now. Yeah, that go to Namek. <laughs> two are the planet's last chance, as slim as it may be. Yeah, Goku has like a few hours left. Gohan's energy's gone. Vegeta's gone. We need at least some Saiyans to do something, please. Oh, man. Vegeta, in an uncharacteristically heroic attempt to protect those close to him, sacrifices himself to destroy Majin Buu. Unfortunately, his effort is in vain, and the pink menace reemerges unscathed. That's so... Oh, God, I just... Every time, man. Every time it gets me. It's, it's probably... I think it has to be my favorite scene in the entire franchise. Well, at least Goku took a nap. Sense Majin Buu's energy, but I can't sense Vegeta's anywhere. Uh, don't tell me, Vegeta couldn't have gotten himself killed. Mm. Oh no! Sorry, I don't bud. Sense Gohan's energy either. What's going on? Hmm? Piccolo and Krillin are both alive. They aren't stone anymore. At least Goku can sense everybody and who's still around. Okay, they should know what's going on. I'd bet on that. Where would they be? Hakami's lookout, maybe? Oh, I forgot about instant transmission. I was like, do I have to fly to Kami's lookout? Then I remembered. Goku can do that thing that he does where he just boop. He just boop. And he's out. Man. <sighs> oh, here we go. Goku's Super Saiyan 2 transformation is now available. Cool. Let's put that on our wheel. Uh, super attack skill tree. Super attack palette. Uh, trans okay, cool. It's already there. Sick. All right, let's go talk to Dende. Let's go talk to Dende and see what's going on. Hey, Goku. Is that really you, Goku? You're alive. Goku, we were so worried. I was hoping you could tell me what's going on. 
Well, Goku, here's the thing. Goku had Dende heal his wounds, then found out more about the situation from Krillin and the others. Unbelievable. Gohan and the Supreme Kai? This is too much. Even Vegeta was taken down. Majin Buu's power. It's far greater than the Supreme Kai initially feared it would be. It's pretty powerful. If we don't act fast, all life in the universe, let alone here on Earth, will be completely wiped out of existence. Well, not all hope is lost. We've still got you, Goku. We've still got that guy. He's beating everybody. I'll be honest. That's not going to happen. I can't beat him. Uh -huh. Bro, Goku, do you know what you just said? Me and Vegeta were pretty much matched as far as power goes. And Majin Buu, he had no problem taking everything Vegeta threw his way. There's no way around it. I don't stand a chance. Really? Wow. Man, this stinks. If either Gohan or Vegeta were still alive, we might have had a real chance to do something. I don't think so. No, we're going to need more than just numbers against this guy. He really is that strong. Nah, that's not what I meant. I'm talking about fusion. Fusion, you say? Huh? Fusion? What's that? Fusion? Where two people merge, right? That's a special technique used by the Metamorans. You know about that? And you're right. I learned the technique from a Metamoran I met in Otherworld. If two people are about the same size and roughly equal in strength, they can combine with each other. That would have been sick. Do you understand what this means? Two people can form one person with way more power than either of the original two are capable of by themselves. All right, so Goku and Piccolo need to fuse, right? There is one thing you really need to keep in mind. Apparently, you can only stay combined for 30 minutes. <sighs> now it makes sense. I think I understand. You were hoping to fuse with either Gohan or Vegeta if one of them was alive. Imagine Gohan and Goku fusing. Form the ultimate warrior and be able to fight Majin Buu. But fortunately, Gohan and Vegeta, they're both gone. Uh, so this is the worst case scenario. Krillin and Mr. Popo. There we go. Goten and Trunks are sleeping inside. And they are about the same size and strength. Okay. Perhaps they could fuse. Hey, that's a great idea, Mr. Popo. Okay. Yeah, we could do that. That'll work. Piccolo, I'm going to do whatever I possibly can to teach the fusion technique to the kids. But it's going to take some time. At some point in all of this, I'll need you to take over for me. Fine. I got it. This is good. There's hope for us yet. Roland's like, hooray, I don't have to do anything again. Those kids might be able to pull this off. Right. But understand, it's going to take quite a while before Goten and Trunks are able to perform the technique. The time this will take is something others don't have. A lot of people could die before that happens. Everyone on the planet, even the planet itself, might be wiped out before then. This is a long shot, but we've got no other choice. Well, you guys better get to dancing then. You're right about that. Even if all of humanity gets wiped out, we've still got the Dragon Balls to bring everyone back. Um, What's going on? It got dark all of a sudden. Speaking of the Dragon Balls? Wait, is that... Did someone summon Shenron? Wait, but who? Bulma had all of the Dragon Balls last, right? But she doesn't know the situation. What's she doing? Of course. Yeah, that's right. Vegeta killed a bunch of people at the World Tournament. Bulma's going to ask Shenron to bring them all back. Oh. oh. No, if she makes all three wishes now, we'll have to wait another year. I'll go try to stop her. That's right. She was going to go undo all the bad that Vegeta... Mm -mm -mm. Just as Goku had predicted, Bulma and the others had summoned Shenron to bring back all those killed by Vegeta. The first wish had already been granted. But Goku was able to prevent the last two wishes from being used. Oh, that's good, at least. Shenron disappeared, and the Dragon Balls scattered, inert for the next four months. Oh! But Goku then warped the confused... I didn't know that that's how that worked. ...where they would then all be safe. Like, you only use a third of the wishes, so you only have to wait a third of the time? 
Would you rather have three wishes right out the gate or one wish every four months? Hmm. Hmm. Question of the day. I, hmm. I feel like I feel like one wish every four months. No, because then you gotta go find, travel the whole world for the Dragon Balls. Hmm. Ah. Here we have an individual brought back to life with the Dragon Ball. <laughs> Look at this individual. I, I'm certain I was killed by Dabara. But was I brought back to life? How can that be? What's going on? Where is the Supreme Kai? Oh, good. He's still alive. Oh, Supreme Kai's still alive? That's good to know. Supreme Kai. Supreme Kai. Where's Gohan? Thank goodness. I wasn't too late. Uh, uh, Kibito, w what are you doing here? Uh, I saw you die. You were blown to pieces. Indeed. I too am uncertain how I was able to. I. <laughs> bitch, I lived. I don't know how I died. I don't know how I'm alive either. Hurry, Gohan's in danger. Huh? We have to prevent Gohan from dying at all costs. So Gohan's not dead. He just has like zero energy and maybe a heartbeat. Oh, yep. Okay. Maybe that's the case. It looks like we've come to his aid without a moment to spare. Thank goodness. Kibito, we should restore Gohan's strength once we're back in the land of the Kais. Huh? D do you mean to tell me we are going to allow a mortal to step foot in our holy land? That's what I just said. Yes. Now we need to hurry. He doesn't have much longer. We need to hurry. Listen to me the first time around. Kai Kai. Kai Kai? Is that the teleportation noise? Kai Kai? Is this the land of the Kais? I would. Okay, there we go. That answered my question. What? What the? No one's like. I feel great. Huh? You guys want to go for a run? This is the land of the Kais, our home world. Wait, what? Your home world? Yes, this is a holy land that even the gods and Kais, let alone mortals, were not to enter. Kabito's like. I really don't like you, Gohan. Wait. I thought you died. Do you have the ability to revive yourself? Is that your superpower? Can you revive yourself? Definitely no. My revival is just as much a mystery to me as it is to you. Uh, uh <laughs> why am I here? Gohan, you remember Majin Buu? We hope you'll be able to use the Z Sword to defeat Majin Buu. The Z Sword. You should have what it takes to utilize that sword and its power. Okay. Huh? The the sword? Are you sure about this, Supreme Kai? The Z sword is not a weapon that a mere mortal could ever wield. Not possible. Neither I nor countless other Supreme Kais could ever make use of the legendary sword. Are you giving Gohan a sword now? As you were dead, Kibito, you haven't seen how truly remarkable Gohan's power is. At any rate, we should at least try. Come with me. All right, let's go figure out what the sword is. Kabito's like, I still don't like you. You'll need some more suitable clothes. Hey, thanks, man. Oh. I appreciate the clothes. Huh. Kabito and I are wearing matching outfits. It's kind of embarrassing. It's kind of embarrassing. All right. Here's the Z sword. All right. There's a sword here on this rock. Okay. This is the Z sword. Easy enough. Huh. Now please try to remove it. To the best of my knowledge, no one has been able to remove this blade. Can we destroy all the rock around so it instead? I just need to pull it out, huh? Sounds like something out of a storybook. So, uh, I'm supposed to pull out this Z sword, but then what happens? Legends say you will be imbued with immense power. Perhaps even enough power to destroy Majin Buu. What? <laughs> really? Because we're just going to cut him with a sword. That's what makes sense. I guess that means this thing's pretty sharp. <laughs> I'm kind of scared now. We're going to spread him like butter. You can't remove the sword. 
So you have nothing to fear. Kibito, quit being a dick. Thank you. Kibito, please be quiet. Gohan must concentrate. Please, Gohan. Try to remove the sword. Huh. All right, here goes. <laughs> no use it won't budge hmm. all right let's try this then <laughs> i'm gonna go super saiyan to pull this sword out well i doubt that'll change anything it's no use several supreme kais before you have tried and also failed to remove the blade why would a mere mortal succeed kabito when i pull this sword out I'm going to put it where the sun don't shine. Mm. Look, he did it. I, I can't believe it. Well, now I've got this Majin Buu sword. That's pretty cool, right? So now I just put Majin Buu on a bagel. If he can turn other people in the candy and eat him, I feel like that's what I do is I'm just going to spread him on a bagel and eat him. Hmm. The only logical course of action, in my opinion. So, Gohan's got a dress and a sword. Vegeta's dead. Goten and Trunks are going to dance. Goku is doing what exactly? Straight to the chase, okay? Hey, that's me. I'm Chase. Goten and Trunks are both fine. But Gohan and Vegeta, they were killed by Majin Buu. Huh? <laughs> Gigi. And Gigi's down for the count. Vegeta. No. He can't. Mm-hmm. Listen to me, people of Earth. Uh-oh. I am using magic to speak to all of you telepathically. Now close your eyes. I have something I'd like to show you. My name is Bobbity, and I am a terrified and powerful wizard. And this here is my loyal servant, the even more frightening Margin Boo. What? what is this? Ordinary Citizen A, oh no. Are, are you seeing this too? Oh no, Ordinary Citizen B, no. Hey, what kind of freaky crap is this? Nothing, Ordinary Citizen C, don't worry. Today, you see, and now I'm looking for three troublemakers. Mm -mm. This one, this one, and this one. If I cannot find these three fools, <laughs> well, allow me to show you what will happen. All right, Martin Boo, do it. Hey! That was a whole city just gone like that. That monster! What has he done? Looks like he wiped out a city, Goku. I will warn you one more time. You must tell me where those three are. If you do not, we will exterminate every last one of you five days from now. Well, it sounds like we've got about five days to figure out how to fuse. I like how he's flying on Majin Buu like a space bike. All right, Piccolo, what you gonna do? Damn that bug-eyed bastard! So those are the guys that killed Vegeta and Gohan. Correct. We can't let there be any more casualties. I'm going to confront them. No, 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 Piccolo. No. Think about it. If you die on us, there won't be anyone to teach Goten and Trunks how to fuse. You stay here and teach them how to dance. We have the Dragon Balls. We can use them to repair any damage done and bring back anybody that's been killed. You get it? Can't we wish for Majin Buu to be dead? Fine. Can't we use the, the Dragon Balls for that? Does Shenron not do that? Did I not read my Shenron handbook? Well, guess what, Trunks? He did. My big brother is dead. 
Yeah, and your dad is going to be dead here soon, too. See that halo above his head? Stop it! Now's not the time for tears. If you want to avenge them, focus on learning this new technique. You've got it? Smack him around a little bit, Goku. Let's get started. Everybody pay close attention. All right. Time to learn how to fuse. People of Earth, I've just received some very interesting information. Uh-oh, what did you what did you receive? One of the three troublemakers I'm searching for, Trunks, supposedly lives at a place called Capsule Corporation in West City. I think we might head there next. For everyone's sake, he had better be there. I would show myself if I were you, Trunks. Your home won't be around much longer if you don't. Uh-oh. Oh no! My grandpa and grandma are still at the house! Goku! Did you hear that just now? My mom and dad are done for! And so is West City, for that matter! Goku, think you can take a break from training? It'll be fine, Bulma. We'll bring them back with the Dragon Balls. You don't get it! If my lab gets destroyed, so does the Dragon Radar! Ooh, yeah, we kind of need that. The radar requires special parts that you can't just get anywhere. Which means we won't be able to summon Shenron! What? That is a problem. Alright, Trunks? Hurry back home and try to find the dragon radar. Okay, I'll try to stall Bobbity and Majin Buu as long as I can. Are you sure? Aren't you just gonna get your butt kicked? Trunks, I'm gonna smack the hell out of you. Hmm, I can distract them for at least a little bit. Anyway, hurry before they get to West City. Now, why couldn't you just instant transmission Trunks to West City and then just go... Hmm. Hmm. It's interesting to say the least. Goku's actions and ideas. Like, couldn't, like, can't you just, hasn't he done it like multiple times in a row before? Like, can't you just instant, like, go to the lab, get the radar, and then come back? Like, grab grandma, grandpa? I don't know, man. Come on, Goku. Maybe I'm thinking too much into this. Maybe I didn't read my Goku handbook, but still, just, just a thought. Just a thought, you know? Just a thought. All right. Find those guys and fast. All right, we've got to go search for Bobbity and Majin Buu. Um, and we are actually going to go do that in the next episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, today's episode of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot here on the channel. Uh, if you guys have, please leave a like on the video. It not only shows me that you like it, it shows YouTube that you like it, and it pushes out to more people so we can get a bigger community over here, which helps out the channel. Um, and of course, if you guys are new, feel free to subscribe for more so you don't miss out on the next episode. All that being said, I want to remind you guys to be great and do great. And I'll see you on the next video. Later.